Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your Love Life reading for the month of October 2018. Apologies. I know it's like mid-month and barely getting to it. So sorry. So here we go. Leo. Love Life reading. October 2018. Thank you all for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate every single one of you so, so much. Especially... For those of you that have been with me from the beginning, that have started following me um, since Instagram. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, you can find me there, instagram.com slash Virgo Angel Tarot. I do post monthly reading specials there. I let Instagram know before I announce it here on YouTube. So if you're interested in booking a personal reading, I am holding a 10 card Celtic cross special for the month of October for 31 US dollars. There is a link in the description box below if you're interested in booking immediately. You can DM me on Instagram. You can look it up for more info. And uh, yeah, so there you have it. Let's get started. October 2018 Love Life reading for Leos. Four of Cups and the Justice card. The Justice card had come out in your general reading. King of Swords reversed. Okay. I don't like him reversed. Queen of Cups. Not only is the King of Swords a little serious and cold, but reversed. It's like, like that with a vengeance, you know? The devil card in reverse. Ouch. Strength card. So I like the devil card in reverse. I can tell that you're really trying to stay in your lane in terms of staying strong, moving forward, healing, releasing yourself from this crazy person of a king of swords because not only is he really serious, but he can be really downright mean, you know, and really guilting you for just being you, for the feelings that you have, for your own truth, whatever it may be. This is not a good person, this king of swords in reverse. Yeah, definitely not a good person. You've come to the realization that it is time to release yourself from this toxic relationship, toxic energies. You just want a new beginning. You want something stable, consistent. Boom, tower. Okay, one more because, oh, Leo, five of pentacles. <sighs> heavy, heavy, heavy. All right, I'm going to stop right here. So, Leo, you've been dealing with this very manipulative energy, just a downright asshole. Like, I mean, there's no way around it. He's a jerk. And if this is you, what's your problem? <laughs> no judgment, but what's your problem, right? So, Leo, Four of Cups, Justice card, King of Swords in reverse, Queen of Cups, Devil in reverse, the Strength card, Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, the Tower, and five of pentacles. So shit's been falling apart in your marriage, in your relationship, in your friendships, whatever it may be. You knew that things weren't going, you weren't fully satisfied emotionally, physically, whatever it may be. There was something missing here. You wanted to do what's right by you. You wanted what was fair and equitable. Why are you doing all of this? Why are you being made to do that? What does that person have? Why is there no equal give and take? It leaves you emotionally distraught. I mean, pained to the max. And it's like this guy knows that, he, or, you know, it doesn't have to be a guy. I just say guy because it's king of swords. This is general energy. Remember, apply it to your situation. May not apply to you, though. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, king of swords in reverse. Now, king of swords alone, right? He can be very serious, cold and calculating, he can have some ideas, some notions, some plans brewing, you know, but this king of swords in reverse, these all ideas are not about the two of you coming together. This is about him, you know, getting his own selfish way. This is a narcissist through and through. This is someone who is abusive, who 
does not care about humiliating you, cutting you down in front of people. I mean, they'll be like, you'll be out and you'll be having a great time and out of nowhere, bam, like somebody flipped the switch on this creep. This could be a guy or a girl. You could be dealing with some dramatic, you know, some dramatic girl, female, whatever, who like is all super cool. Everyone's having fun and all of a sudden she's drama. Like to the point that your friends are even like, there she goes again. Can't take you nowhere, right? So if this is you trying to gain the strength to get up and get the fuck on, keep doing it. Keep moving. Work towards leaving this narcissist. It is for your own safety. You know, you know that this has just worn away at your spirit, at your confidence. This person has done so much damage that you are to the point of believing half the shit they're telling you in terms of what they say about you. Keep your emotions in check. Own your truth. Make those decisions in regards to how you want to move forward, whether to end it or not, whether to get help or not. The decision is yours. How you're going to leave a toxic situation behind. You shouldn't care about leaving someone out in the cold when they're doing your dirty like left and right treating you like shit like you obviously care a whole lot more about this person or the situation than they do even to the point that you can't even leave them you can't even move forward because oh my god i can't because blah 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 xyz you're finding an excuse to stick around leo you can move forward you do have the friends, the resources, the support system that once you reach out to them and you explain to them how you've been through hell and back, how you're ready to move away from this toxic energy, you have people here in your corner that will help you escape this crazy person. And if you are not going through this, thank God. Leo, I'm glad this does not resonate with you, okay? Either way, many of you are going through some tough times, carrying some heavy weights, some heavy burdens. So Leo, straight up single Leos that hopefully are not dealing with this now or have ever been. Straight up single Leos, month of October 2018. What is going on for them? Three of Cups. Ace of Cups. Seven of cups lots of energies lots of emotional energies queen of swords peeked through it did land in reverse so like i said if you're not dealing with this narcissistic narcissistic asshole you may be dealing with a dramatic you know narcissistic dramatic drama queen you know to the hilt i mean like she'd be throwing heels at you and everything right it's time to cut the ties Close that karmic cycle. Learn your lessons. Know what you do want, what you don't want. Be clear about it. It's time to gain clarity with all this confusion. How does straight up single Leo find clarity in this situation? Secrets being revealed. Admitting to yourself what this relationship was from your past you've been living in denial it's time for you to admit it so that you can release yourself and move forward through calmer waters so that you can have this brand new ace of cups with someone worth having couple double leos married couples in betweeners what is going on couple double leos for the month of october 2018 hermit going within you know the answers to what you need to do the answers that you seek are within you knight of wands forward movement travel taking the time to really think about what your next step is what you need to do and then putting them into action too many cards fly out Many of you are dealing with 
air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Geminis. Doesn't have to be. This apply it to your situation. Coupled up Leos, the month of October 2018. Coupled up Leos, Ace of Wands. So after you go within, you you finally get to that conclusion of what comes next. You realize you already had the answers of how you want to move forward. Queen of Pentacles, you give birth to new ideas. You figure out how you can make this work, how you can come together, whether it is staying in this relationship or leaving this relationship. There are some, you know, relationships here that don't have this narcissistic energy that applies to it, but there are relationships here that have had some hiccups that you know you want to leave behind, that you want forward movement, you want travel, you want clarity, you want a new beginning, you want to give birth to new ideas. You want, to, you want to be able to come together with your partner and really make it something special. And if you had been dealing with this narcissist from the past, they will, that residual energy will be affecting your current energy, your current relationship. So before we close out this reading, Romance Angels, what message do you have for Leos in the month of October 2018? Leo. One for singles and one for couples, please. For the singles. Romance Angels, straight up single, Romance Angel Oracle card, October 2018. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So time to heal from whatever it was that was holding you back. Keep an open mind. You may be you know, afraid of having some of these harsh energies from the past come back up, keep an open mind. This next person will be more understanding, will be more caring, will be more loving for you. Coupled up Leos, October 2018. Romance Angels, what message do you have for Leos, October 2018? children. I know not all of you have children. Some of you may be pregnant or soon to be pregnant, but your love life is being affected by children. So how you move forward, how you come together, how you make a relationship work after you have said um, you don't want children and then you end up pregnant, right? Be clear about your intentions. Be clear about what you want one more card, please. Coupled up, Leos. Let go of control issues. So if you've got these narcissistic tendencies here, if you've had to deal with narcissists in your past that have just totally mind fucked you for every relationship of your future that you are just afraid of, you know, losing control in a relationship. You've had these issues where you're afraid that things aren't going to work out the way you had wanted to, the way you had anticipated. But you know, we cannot control every single outcome of every single situation. You've got to trust in divine timing, trust in the universe that this will all work out and unfold for your best interest. Okay, Leo, so that was your reading for October 2018. Please let me know if this resonated. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do read all the comments. I don't get, you know, the chance to respond to all of them. I do get a lot of personal reading requests. And um, yeah, I have, you know, uh, special if you're interested in that. If you want me to read on your love life, you can click the link in the description box below for that October special. Take advantage, 10 card Celtic cross for 31 US dollars. So that was your reading. Enjoy the rest of your October and I hope to touch in, you know, touch base with you by the end of October. Take care. Bye.